So in this problem, we are being asked to analyze the distribution of the number of potholes in one mile stretches of road. We know that the distribution has a mean of 43 and a standard deviation of seven. Uh, we also know that this distribution is bell-shaped or normal, and we are to use the empirical rule to approximate the percentage of one mile long roads that have potholes numbering between 29 and 64. So the empirical rule, which is also known as the 68, 95, 99.7 rule, what that tells us is that as long as we have a normal distribution, this will behave pretty predictably. If we go one standard deviation above or below the mean, we will contain 68% of the entire population of one mile stretches of roads. Uh, if we go an additional or two standard deviations above and below the mean, we will contain 95% of the population of roads. And if we go three standard deviations above and below the mean, we will contain 99.7% of all roads, uh, or all in this case, all one mile stretches of roads. So let's fill in this blank normal distribution curve here to see what all this means. So we know that the mean or the average number of potholes that you would expect to see for a one mile stretch of road is 43. So the average is 43. We always put the average right under the peak of our normal distribution. And if we were to go one standard deviation, remember the standard deviation is seven. So if we were to go seven above the mean or seven below the mean, which in this case would put us at 50, if we go seven above the mean and 36, if we go seven below the mean, what this means according to the empirical rule is that 68% of all of these one mile stretches of roads will contain between 36 and 50 potholes. If we go an additional standard deviation, so in this case it would be 57, and down here it would be 29, this is now two standard deviations above and below the mean, that means 95% of all of these one mile stretches of roads will contain between 29 and 57 potholes. Well, for this problem, this problem has uh, something tricky in it. They're asking us to figure out what is the percentage of roads containing between 29 and 64 potholes. Well, if you notice 29 is two standard deviations below the mean but 64 is three standard deviations above the mean, which means we can't just use one of these three numbers as our answer because 95% would tell us all of the rows between two above and two below, and the 99.7% would tell us uh, the population between three and above and three below, but we have three above and two below, so we have to combine these two, we have to combine half of these two to get a new percentage. So if we were to analyze just the left half, so just from 29 to 43, if we went from 29 all the way to 57, that would give us 95%. But if we're just going from 29 to 43, that's half of that. Well, half of 95% is 47.5%. So 47.5% of all of these one mile stretches of roads are contained in this half of the normal distribution or from 29 to 43. And this from 43 to 64, this is gonna just be half of our 99.7 rule. And half of 99.7 is going to be 49.85, which means the total percentage of all roads uh, containing between 29 potholes and 64 potholes will just be the sum of these two percentages here, which I calculated at 97.35%.